to this as well. I don't even begin to tell them there might be a wedding. Well, you can start by telling me. Michael! Oh, I didn't know you were here. Hey, yes. Hey. Just wanted to check in and uh, make sure Trey wasn't lying about this wedding. He told you. Oh, is that a surprise? I, mean, I think I deserve to know when somebody in the family is getting married, don't you? Hmm. Unless you misunderstood and Dad and Kate aren't getting married. I haven't told Chris... Don't get all upset just because I knew first for once, you know? The only reason Dad told me is because he wanted my opinion on the ring. But then, of course, Trey were to be talking about it, and I should have told him just to keep his mouth shut. I mean, what if Kate says no? She won't. But still, it's the principle. You sure that's all it was? Yeah. What? Why? Do you really find it that shocking that Dad would confide in me? No, okay. I'm happy for you, okay? I am. Thank you. I just... I really hope that it works out this time between Dad and Kate. Yeah, I do too. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hello? Hi. Chrissy, it's me. Where are you? I'm at home. Where are you? Where's Mom? That's why I'm calling. Don't panic, but she's in the hospital. Is she all right? What happened? She was leaving for work, and, and she fainted. I'm on my way. What's going on? My mom's in the hospital. Well, let me drive you. Michael, I don't need a baby. Christina, we're wasting time. Let's go. Where's mom? Hey, um, she's with the doctors. They're running some tests. I know she's going to want to see you, but you got to stay calm, okay? Hey. Mom? God, she looks so sick. Do they know what's wrong? Steve, do you have any answers for us? Absolutely sure. Mom? <sighs> Christina. Hey. Don't worry, they're running some tests. They're gonna figure out why you keep fainting. This wasn't the first time? No, she fainted last night at Windermere. Feeling? I'm dizzy. I don't know why. Listen, Mom, this is important. Do you know how many times you fainted? I don't know. I was at Windermere and I... Why didn't you tell us you passed out? It's okay. The doctors are running tests. They're gonna have you feeling better in no time. You should call Molly. Let her enjoy your day with CJ. I, I get that you don't want her to worry, but she needs to know. Needs to know what. Hey, what's up? Can you come meet me? I'm at the hospital in the emergency room. The hospital? Is everything okay? Oh, I'm fine. It's, uh, it's my little sister, Jocelyn. It's my mom. Where is he? Your mom's sick? She fainted. They're still trying to figure out what's wrong. I don't, it could just be a bug bite, but after everything that Jocelyn went through with the cancer and the transplant, my mom just... She wants to be really sure about this. I'll be right there. Christina's mom's in the hospital. So is Michael's little sister. I'll drive. Okay. Oh, well, I have to get something first. Right? You're such a basket case. No, no, no. If it were my dad and the ER, I'd be worried too. I'm just a way to think it's your job to prop me up for anything. Oh, Christina. Oh. I'm right where I want to be, okay? This is where I want you to be, too. How's Mom? Resting. I think she ought to... Sam, can I have a word? Go. I'll keep an eye on Mom. Okay. She's gonna be fine. Oh, thanks. Mm-hmm. So did you get a hold of Molly? She's probably having too much fun on the rides to notice her phone. Well, I, I can go track her down if you want. Can we do that? Let's let her have fun. Thank you for the offer, though. You've been really, been really great. I just want help. Just you being here is helping a lot. <laughs> but, um, what did you want to talk about that was uh, so important? Oh, I, it's nothing. I'm okay. It's good. No, we were going to talk about it at Kelly's, and we got interrupted, and then you left me that message on my phone. I was about to call you back, and this whole thing happened with my mom. 
Yeah, that, well, that's where your focus should be, is, is on your mom. Uh, my thinking, wait. So, yeah. Standing around here going crazy. I mean, you could at least you distract me. <laughs> okay, now I'm starting to worry. Did something happen? Okay. The production company for Mob Princess is gonna sue me if I don't deliver a series. Production company? I, I thought your dad was the main investor. He was, is, uh, but you know, he, he didn't have enough to cover all the costs, so. Uh, you know, I did this deal with this company in exchange for some rights, and I, I, I thought that if I pulled the plug, that I, I could still get his money back. And that's not the case? No. no. They own his investments, and he's gonna go bankrupt unless I deliver 10 episodes of Mob Princess plus a wedding. A, w a wedding? Yeah, the producers, they want me, they want me to marry you. Marry me for the show? The producers of Mob Princess claim that it, it needs an event, like the Kardashian wedding. Please, no one even knows who I am. But it doesn't matter. As long as I deliver ten episodes, plus a wedding, I fulfill my contract, and then my dad gets his money back. So you're doing this for your dad? What are the reason would I be doing it? Okay, I'm sorry. No, that I didn't. I didn't mean no, it the way okay. it sounds. Okay. No, no, Christina, it's not. Look at me. Look, I care about you an awful lot. I think we could be. I think we could be so good together. And I just, I don't want to mess this up by rushing into some sort of, you know, fake marriage. You know what? Just forget I even said anything. No, Trey, Trey. <sighs> I want to help. It's not fair of me to take advantage of you. No, I'm glad you told me. I want us to be honest with each other. Okay, do you care about Christina? Then you should trust her. Do you trust Christina? Yeah, of course. Well, then you shouldn't keep her in the dark. I can almost see myself pretend marrying a guy like you. Okay, before you make your final decision, there's uh, something else you need to know about my dad. He's in jail. 